Hey, I'm Olivia Gio, one of the LSU Dermatology Chief Residents, here with some of my co-residents to give you all a tour of our facilities. I'm Alexandra Bourgeois, I'm also one of the LSU Chief Residents for this year. And I'm Taylor Smith, I'm a second year Dermatology resident. So right now we're standing outside of UMC and I'm on, um, I'm here this month and over here we learn a lot of our complex medical derm, um, we also see consults, we have a surgery clinic, a cosmetic clinic, we go to Mo's, um, and even have a CTCL clinic. And then right across the street at the VA, we see a lot of our skin cancer patients, lots of hands-on surgery, we also have laser experience and do take consults over there, and the best part is we're in the part of the downtown New Orleans area. Right now we're at UMC and this is our nursing station with our wonderful nurses. This is Brittany. Hello. Hey Brittany. Hey. So now we're going to take you on a little bit of a tour of the clinic side. So here's where we see most of our patients. We have a hall full of rooms. This one over here is about to be set up for a surgery. And then we also have a uh, phototherapy booth that we do narrowband UVB for our patients as well. So we kind of see the patient initially, we'll get them set up with a plan and then the nurses kind of take over from there. Um, so that, because it is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday job usually. And then around the corner here, this is our resident attending med student workspace. We've got LSU over here, Tulane over there. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of space over here. So one of the highlights of our program is our diverse patient population and the numerous sites that we get to rotate at. So we just wanted to kind of go over and give you an idea of all of the things we see at each site. So uh, I'm rotating at the VA right now, which is a wonderful new hospital built in 2015. Uh, I would say the majority of our patients are elderly or skin cancer uh, checks. So we do get a lot of surgical experience there. Um, we have a laser there that we can use um, for hair removal. Um, as well, we have uh, phototherapy that our nurses kind of help us out with. Um, another site that we commonly go to is in Baton Rouge, um, where our patient population is just a little bit different. So it's more the private practice. It's, it's most similar to private practice in that you get acne in younger patients, you get molluscum, you do get skin cancer, and you, you get an occasional um, strange rash that needs sorting out. Uh, so it's a good mix. And I actually just finished a rotation at Ochsner, which is a large hospital system here in Louisiana. We have a lot of complicated medical patients getting liver transplants, bone marrow transplants, as well as different types of chemotherapy. Um, as a resident, we also get to run our own hot skin clinic where we see these rashes, uh, take call, do consults, and also do various procedures. And over at UMC, we see a lot of our complex medical derm patients, um, lots of patients on biologics, skin checks. We get to also do a lot of surgeries. We have our own specialty uh, cosmetic clinic, which we do um, cosmetics in Baton Rouge as well. And we have a CTCL clinic once a month. And then over at the Children's Hospital, we have a one month rotation with um, Dr. Hill, who is our fellowship trained pediatric dermatologist. And we get to spend time in her clinic and see lots of common things as well as rare pediatric diseases. I feel like one of the really strong uh, suits of our program is that we really get a lot of experience with procedures uh, that includes doing surgeries um, as well as injections, you know, whether it be Botox or filler, um, even chemical peels where we feel very comfortable with at the end of our training. We will have blown far past the numbers that are required by ACGME, so I, I really feel that's a strong suit for us. Um, I also really like the balance of autonomy and oversight. The VA is a lot of on your own, you're doing a lot of skin cancer checks, a lot of skin cancer surgeries. Um, UMC, those complicated patients, you have an attending coming in with you after you already work up the patient, give a differential. Um, you make your plan and the attending agrees, disagrees, corrects who teaches you, um, and that goes for Oshner as well. And then probably one of our biggest points is just the residents themselves. Um, we are just a great team and everyone is always looking to help everybody out. We literally are just like one big family. We love hanging out. Um, everyone gets along great here. So. 
and we're all in New Orleans. So we get together for dinners. Um, I live in Bayou St. John, which is a beautiful neighborhood right next to City Park. I go for runs in the City Park. I, I go to dinner in the area. I walk to dinner. Um, every neighborhood in New Orleans is unique. You have the downtown. You have uh, restaurants opening right and left. Um, it, it's a really great place to train, to live, to work. You really will never be bored. There's tons of festivals. Um, if you love food, there's a food for you to try and there's a festival for it. There's lots of music festivals and there's always live music to be found somewhere in the city. And barring COVID, uh, we have the Saints, which is, in my opinion, definitely the best football team in the country right now, as well as the Pelicans. Always fun to go um, get away for a game. So one of the great things about our program is the faculty. Um, we have dedicated faculty at every clinical site. Um, they're going to be there overseeing you, helping you with patients and differentials. Uh, and our faculty in New Orleans are graduates often of those programs and like to come back and contribute. Um, so we get cosmetic dermatologists, specialists with CTCL who are IM Derm uh, uh, board certified. Um, and we get a lot of mentorship and guidance in regards to careers. Um, some of our faculty have trained in D.C. and New York um, and they're always willing to help you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We would be happy to answer any and all questions, and we hope to see you all soon. Bye, y'all.